proud of the effort we gave tonight. We didn't, we didn't, this has been a crazy year, and we have not had one break go our way. And you know what? Sometimes years are like that. You know what I'm saying? It's been a rough year on me. Been a rough year on this football team. I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of how they keep fighting. Reed, run it back. Tails. Okay. Defense first. Yeah. Oh. 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 I always knew we had good character. I always knew we'd play hard. I always knew. I, same thing I knew. I just was wanting to see everybody to see it. I think everybody saw it tonight. We lost a football game, but everybody saw it tonight. So proud of this senior class and how they came together tonight, how they played. I'm so proud of the rest of the bunch for staying together with them and playing. And we're fixing to go play hard again next week because you know what? We don't know anything else to do. Head coach Todd Cooley talks about football being a funny game with a funny ball that bounces funny ways. And today, that was most certainly the case as the Statesman dropped the homecoming thriller 40 to 34 in overtime to the Valdosta State Blazers. Now the Statesman got down early in this one as much as 27 to 13 at the break. They battled all the way back to tie it up early in the fourth quarter at 27 apiece. And the Statesman nearly had a shot to even take the lead in that fourth quarter, but a pick ended that drive. Now Valdosta State nearly had a chance to win it in regulation, but a missed field goal sealed the overtime fate. Both teams scored in the first overtime especially incredible for the Statesman. They were battling a third and 20 situation when Tyler Sullivan hooked up with a deep touchdown to even the score in the first OT. Now the second OT was something bizarre. The Statesman fumbled on their per first down and the Blazers fumbled on their first down. And that sent it to the third overtime. Valdosta State would score but failed to convert the mandatory two point conversion. Now the Statesman got the ball back in the third overtime but a fumble sealed the fade.